मॉर्निंग व्यू वेलकम टू आवर फोसक टीवी वर्स यर से ब्रेकिंग न्यूज़ व्हेन व्लादिमीर पुतिन सेटर्ड द पीस इन यूरोप बाय अनलिसिंग वर्ड ऑन ए डेमोक्रेसी ऑफ 44 मिलियन पीपल हिज जस्टिफिकेशन वाज दैट मॉडर्न वेस्टर्न लीडिंग यूक्रेन वाज ए कांस्टेंट थ्रेट एंड रशिया कुड नॉट फील सेफ डेवलप एंड एग्जिस्ट बट आफ्टर 5 वीक्स ऑफ bombardment thousands of deaths in ruined cities and the displacement of more than 10 million people inside ukraine and beyond the questions remain what is his aim and is there a way out the russian leader's initial aim was to overrun ukraine and dispose its government ending for good it's desire to join the western defensive alliance nato but the invasion has become worked down and he appears to have scaled back his ambitions launching the invasion on 24th february he told the russian people his goal was to demilitarize and denazify ukraine to protect people subjected to what he called eight years of bullying and genocide by ukraine's government it is not our plan to occupy the ukrainian territory we do not intend to impose anything on anyone by force he insisted this was not even a war or invasion he claimed merely the fiction of a special military operation that russian state control media are required to adopt the claims of nazis and genocide in ukraine were completely unfounded but it was clear russia saw this as a pivotal moment russia's future and its future place in the world are at stake said foreign intelligence chief seregi russia's military aimed to sweep into the capital kyiv invading from belarus and the more in the north as well as from the south and east Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov spoke of freeing Ukraine from oppression while Ukraine's democratically elected president Vladimir Zelensky said the enemy has designated me as target number 1 my family is target number 2 but Ukraine's fire resistance has caused heavy losses and in some areas driven Russian forces back Russia does appear to have lowered its ambitions claiming it has generally accomplished the aims of the invasion fast pace which it defined as considerable reducing Ukraine's combat potential Russia announced at peace talks that it would be drastically reducing its military operation around the capital and around the northern city of Chernihiv that is yet to be confirmed and ukraine's president zelensky has said ukraine can only trust concrete result not words the war continues particularly in the east and the south where russian forces are trying to create a land corridor along the south coast east from crimea to the russian border a month into the invasion russia declared the main goal was the liberation of donbas broadly referring to ukraine's eastern regions of luhansk and donetsk more than a third of this area was already seized by russian backed separatists in a war that began in 2014 ahead of the invasion it was clear president putin wanted all of the east recognizing the whole area as belonging to two russian puppet satellites the head of the luhansk statelet has suggested holding a referendum on joining russia similar to an internationally discredited vote held in crimea in 2014 beyond his military goals president putin's broader demand is to ensure ukraine's future neutrality the ukrainians have offered that in return for security guarantees from allies as part of a wide ranging peace plan presented in talks in turkey 
Since Ukraine achieved independence in 1991 as the Soviet Union collapsed, it was gradually veered toward the West, both the European Union and NATO. Russia's leader has sought to reverse that, seeing the fall of the Soviet Union as the disintegration of historical Russia. He has claimed Russians and Ukrainians are one people and denied Ukraine its long history. Ukraine never had stable traditions of genuine statehood, he asserted. It was his pressure on Ukraine's pro-Russian leader, Victor, not to sign a deal with the European Union in 2013 that led to protests that ultimately ousted the Ukrainian president in February 2014. Russia then seized Ukraine's southern region of Crimea and triggered a separatist rebellion in the east and a war that claimed 14,000 lives. As he prepared to invade in February, he tore up an unfulfilled 2015 months peace duel and accused NATO of threatening our historic future as a nation, claiming without foundation that NATO countries wanted to bring war to Crimea. Before Ukraine presented its plan, Russia said it was considering a neutral, demilitarized Ukraine with its own army and navy along the lines of Austria or Sweden, which are both European Union members. Austria is neutral while Sweden is non-aligned. President Zelensky had already declared that the Ukrainians now understood they would, will not be admitted to NATO. It is truth and it must be recognized. Russia does not see Ukraine's peace proposal as either promising or a breakthrough, so the war will continue. But this is Kiev's offer. Ukraine would become a non-bloc and non-nuclear state with no foreign military bases or contingents on its territory. Strict legally binding guarantees would require countries such as the UK, China and USA, Turkey, France, Canada, Italy, Poland and Israel to protect a neutral Ukraine in the event of attack. Within three days, guarantor states would have to hold consultation and come to Ukraine's defense. Ukraine would be allowed to join the European Union. Ukraine would not enter military political alliances and any international exercise would require consent of guarantor states. Ukraine's bid to join NATO and the European Union is insolvent in its 2019 constitution, so any change would require a referendum some months later. BNS report, Fosak TV USA.